Hi Year 10, um, this is just a little video just to explain where we're up to in terms of um, our Catholic Christianity paper, which is paper one of your RE GCSE. Um, and this is the revision guide which is uh, on show my homework for you in both a PDF file and a Word document. Um, some of you do have a paper copy but make sure if you've not you can access it on show my homework. So paper one uh, Catholic Christianity is 50% of your RE GCSE and when you when you sit your exam it'll be an hour and 45 minutes. just want to show you where we're up to. So we've just finished section three, sources of wisdom and authority. So whilst you've been at home, you've been learning about these topics. So we started the Bible uh, whilst we're still at school and these topics, you've been going through Magisterium, the Second Vatican Council, Church as the Body of Christ, the Four Marks of the Church, Mary and making moral decisions. And you've done various tasks on each of those topics. Uh, and last week you did a, a, an overview task and some revision notes, kind of some consolidating all of that. At the start of year 10, um, after you did your Judaism paper, you've done section one. So you've all, already all done that. So we did that at school, all about Catholic beliefs in the Trinity, creation, the incarnation, paschal mystery, salvation and eschatology. So section one is done and section three is done. Those two done. So we're halfway through paper one. What we're going to be starting this week is section two. Section two is... Uh, about practices. So pra all practices means is things that people do in their everyday lives, um, how they reflect their beliefs. So there's a, there's a close connection between practices and beliefs. So wh when we're going through this unit, you need to keep this in mind. So certain things that Catholics do in their everyday lives and throughout their lives that reflect the things that they hold true about their Catholic faith. So Stuff that stuff that we might be talking about is the sacraments, liturgical worship, the funeral rites, uh, prayer, forms of popular piety, pilgrimage, Catholic social teaching and mission and evangelisation. So an example of what I mean by the link between these two things, uh, you'll remember the Paschal Mystery, the idea that Jesus, Jesus died to save us from sin and he opened up the possibility of going to heaven. Um, remember that Catholics just b believe that it's the possibility of going to heaven. It's not guaranteed. We must do certain things in our life in order to achieve that and to achieve salvation. When it comes to practices, what we're talking about is the sacraments. So the sacraments are things that Catholics do in their lives in order to achieve salvation, in order to receive God's grace, in order to reach God and, and, and achieve uh, peace with God. So the sacraments reflect Catholic belief. So again, an example of practices reflecting Catholic belief. So as you go through this, don't forget about these beliefs, but also don't forget about these sources of wisdom, because you'll see in, in the revision guide and when we go through each topic, these are going to be really important and they influence what Catholics do. So section two of our revision guide is page 18, section two, practices. And you'll see each section is clearly labelled the different practices that Catholics do in their lives, liturgical worship. And on each page, you've got a really clear layout, but also you've got the sources of authority, the quotes that you're going to need to know for each topic. And they're set out like that. Okay, so section two this goes all the way through up to section three, which we've already done. So just, just to explain a little bit where we're up to. So we're working on section two of paper one, Catholic Christianity. I hope that makes things a little bit clearer for you about where we're up to. Thank you.